Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out in the backwoods of Maine, a place known for two things, logging and Lyme disease. Today we are here with Dean Kane, who is known to many on the internet as conservative Superman. So Dean Lister. Dean Lister. Yes. I was close. And uh, Dean, tell us a little bit about your uh, background. Have you ever trained in martial arts before? I've dabbled in it for a couple years, primarily Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, Sambo, which is a Russian martial art. I wrestled a little bit. I fought in the UFC, so kind of well-rounded. I've been around for a while. Oh, wow. Interesting. I've never heard of you. Uh, so what are you going to show us today? Leg locks, which would be a way, a mechanism of getting someone's leg, making them tap, give up, or even uh, if you have to, cause an injury to end a fight. All right. So he's going to show us uh, the leg lock, and I'll show you a groin lock. Dean Lister here with my man Keegan, gonna go over one or two moves, some situations that in the past were not so common, but now is some main, mainstay, mainline moves that, that happen all the time. So from the back, you maybe have a wrestler, someone who's hard to take down, okay? When they resist, they, they open the base, the opening is there for the legs to pass through, they fall down for sure, and now they're in a situation where the fight is over, the human knee is not designed to bend this direction, okay? So, turning. Situation he doesn't want to be taken down. If he's easy to take down, he'll fall right away, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fall in, just take it right over. Now, here's one of the moves I'm known for, the heel hook, okay? As you can see, because my legs are crossed and the angle I'm at, okay, his hips are isolated to where now it's just his knee turns. Now, I'm, I'm grabbing his heel, but the knee is what's turning, okay? So slow, just tap me when you feel it, nice and easy. It's a very important we be very careful with our partner not trying to hurt them. But right here, even in a fight, sit up, if he wants to punch me in a fight, I'm gonna finish right here. Okay, I've had this, I've actually won in fights with this. The human knee is very weak structurally. You know, it's a big, big muscle around the leg, but it's very weak structurally. So even if it was a fight, the fight is over. When I fall to my back, the heel stays with me and the knee twists. And the consequence is fight over. Okay, let's go one more time. I'll do one more time faster. So I'm simply gonna go one, right over. And it just lines up perfectly here. Okay. This position is called 50-50 because conventionally our legs are the same. If he grabs my heel, we have the same situation. <laughs> now he's younger, he might win in this case. I want to stop him by blocking my foot so it's hard for him to grab it and now I would win. It's not really 50-50 right now. And there's another saying, why would you ignore 50% of the human body, meaning the legs? Why would you do that? You should not. Always remember, every part of the human body you can attack and you should attack to be complete in your game. All right, my number one problem with uh, James Dean's technique here is that it is a, an attack without a cause, as, as it uh, tends to be in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's something that takes too long to get to and something that doesn't attack vital targets quickly enough. So if you wouldn't mind hanging back, I'll give you a, a quick correction yeah, sure. on this technique, okay? So let's say that you are in this wrestling position. Now, when we talk about uh, wrestling position, we want to make sure that we are exposing vital targets as quickly as possible possible. So we're going to go into a move called the ADCC. In jiu-jitsu, okay, that is known as uh, Abu Dhabi Combat Club, I believe. Correct. Great. Yeah, so that's correct. So in uh, Meridote, it means anal destruction, constructive criticism, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy his anus and then I'm going to tell him what he did wrong. The way I'm going to do that is controlling one of the arms and I'm just going to spread him out, kind of just spreading, spreading him out, spreading him out. Spreading them out, spreading them out, okay? This is called a butterfly, okay? Spreading the wings of the anus hole, okay? Making him in line for strikes. You can knee him in the anus, okay? You can thrust into the anus here. I can even punch, I can punch him right in the a-hole, okay? That's the first thing I want to do, to stun him. Then I go into a takedown, okay? Similar to, uh, what is the roll that you did? 50-50 roll. The 50-50 roll, okay? Yeah. In Meridote, we don't have any 50-50s. We have 83-17, because the groin is 17% mm -hmm. of the body, okay? So I'm gonna go straight to the groin. Rolling down here, okay? Notice, hand up, balancing. Look at that, okay? Taking the leg here, kneeing into the groin, pushing him down. Go slow, don't hurt yourself. Okay, now, in line to attack the groin. 
Okay. What I'm going to do... Ken, in uh, Brazil, they have a saying for this position. Yeah. Que merda é isso? Que merda é isso? That's what they call that right there. Ken merda é isso, which means Ken is the mother of technique. Merda. Mother. Merda. Okay. So, I take the 17% of the groin. By the way, not everybody has 17% of their body as the groin. Some people have like maybe 7%. Depends on the, uh, the distribution. You know, it's like people are smaller. You know, some of them have less. Uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, once you've got the groin here, okay, you have a bunch of locks you can do. We're gonna do what's called a groin lock, okay? I am putting my knee, this is known as a weenus, okay? I'm putting my weenus over the penis. That's how you remember it. Weenus to penis, okay? The crook of the knee is called the weenus. Here, locking in, cinching, okay? And now I'm just going to pump all the blood out of the groin, okay? And then you hold it there as it withers, okay? So if you squeeze all the blood out of a particular body part, it will die eventually, okay? So, do you mind translating that to the uh, audience? Ainda é muito merda posição. That's it? Yeah, it's, it's a more Portuguese is more complicated language, so the things are very fast. Yeah. yeah, that was very fast. Anyway, at that point, untangling the legs, rolling out, pivoting, and then as always, restomp that groin. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Dean Lister for giving us the Dean's List of Bullshit Techniques. Uh, if people want to learn more about you and your burgeoning career, they can... Instagram, Dean Lister, BJJ. And if they want to uh, toss this gentleman around, they can find you... Uh, KeeganRoberts.80. All right. Uh, so, I'm going to go and try to help this guy find the rest of his neck. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Master Ken. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restomp that groin.